Hey, here's a video on general maintenance on your E3 flasher. Uh, I'm going to go through some steps or procedures I do to maintain my E3 NOR clip. Uh, first tool you're going to need is a soft bristle toothbrush. I use one from uh, Spare for a electric toothbrush and some 99% alcohol. So if you're new with an E3 flasher, uh, you, you're going to get it from the factory, it's going to have some residue on the pins itself. So take some 99% alcohol and put a drop on each side or so. Take your soft bristle toothbrush and thoroughly but gently clean, clean out your E3 flasher. Now remember that the alcohol is going to get in there and it doesn't evaporate if it's not exposed to the air. So let it sit for a good 10 minutes to make sure it's fully evaporated after you put some alcohol in there. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do, uh, also you're going to have some residue on your uh, E3 flasher itself, so you're going to want to clean that off as well as the other end of the clip. So that's if you have your E3 flasher for the first time and you're, getting, you're not getting good reads. Uh, in other cases you're going to get error codes, bad reads, or your clip is just not seating on the NOR chip anymore. Uh, the reason for that is that the pins tend to get weak and they come out a little bit on either side. So what I use is I use a dental tool uh, like this one with sharp ends. Uh, I actually use this one this side for uh, the pins. Uh, if you don't have um, a dental tool uh, you could use a regular pin or uh, a sewing needle which would be very fine. You would need a very fine one. So I'm going to try and get in here and show you guys exactly how I I would go about exercising the pins a little bit. So with this dental tool, I very very gently go under each pin and give it some pressure up. And I make sure I go very carefully and I try not to miss a pin. In the end have a look at it from the side. to ensure that all the pins are even. Very gently. You don't need to be impatient. You may need a magnifying glass. And you're going to notice the two on the far ends of each side are going to be the most bent in. That's because there's the most solder on those pins on the far ends. There. Have a look at the side. This seems fairly even. Give it a little brush and try your clip again. It should be seating a little bit better. Um, and I don't find it's necessary to use any type of support like a cushion or any, any type of in-between. Especially don't put metal inside your uh, PlayStation box. So I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.